Okay, so in this video, we'll show you how to install Ansible Automation Platform 2.5 uh, on Red Hat 9. So what we did, what I did here, is that uh, I've logged into my ESX, ESXi system, and I'm going to be creating a new host uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9 Ansible with a given resources. I'm putting it out on data store number three, giving it eight c CPU, eight cores of CPU, 32 gigs of memory, and 120 gigs of hard drive space. I'm going to choose the network and we're going to finish here. In this web page, what I'm doing is I'm going to verify that I'm downloading 2.5 for Red Hat 9, and I'm getting that Ansible Automation Platform 2.9 Containerized Setup Bundle. So I'm making sure that I'm getting the right ver version for the Red Hat Enterprise Linux host that I'm setting up. And this is important. This is one of the most crucial steps because people tend to download the, the wrong ones. So we've uh, SSH into the host and we can take a look at the inventory file. This I used this inventory file on a previous host. So um, I've edited out specific uh, host names to reflect the host that I'm installing it on. And there's my tar file, which I'm, I'll untar in a few minutes. It takes a few seconds to to go through uh, untarring the file. Once it's finished, we'll continue on with the installation. Okay, so we've created a new file, but before we can do that, we update the host, install Ansible Core. I also installed Bond Utilities because I have this set up into our into my domain. Once all those are installed, we can do a NS lookup to make sure that it's resolving the host name, both forward and reversed. Looks good. In the install documentation, it tells you what the command to use for installation. At the end, we do a dash K, or capital K, to become super user. So it's Ansible Playbook, dash I inventory. Ansible continuerized underscore installer dot install space dash k copy and then paste it into a command line give it the hyphen dash k hyphen k There we go. I'm gonna ask for the password. Once the, I turn into password, the playbook would continue. In this case, we've ran into an error and that's because it's looking for the bundled directory. So just re-edit the inventory file and verify the path and in this case we take a look at that line right there and we've corrected it bundle directory 
gives you the full path, give it the full path, and then rerun the the command over again. Again, give it the password. So the install installation takes some time, uh, about about ten minutes, fifteen minutes or so, and at the very end, it will finish without any issues or problems or error messages. It's going to install a bunch of um, files, packages related to the containerized AAP this part takes some time because it's going to end on zipping these files and installing them and there you go that's completed So at this point, we know the IP address to this host. We can go into a web browser and we're going to plug in the IP address to get to the portal. Username is admin, and then the password is the password you used in your inventory. Here you have to do this subscription. You can use your Red Hat username and password, um, and then the subscription is a. In my case, I'm using the the 60-day trial period accept the user agreement and then finish once this is done you'll go into the the portal and then there should be a under templates a demo job template which you can run this playbook runs against a local host and it's just a hello world type of a playbook so it takes a while because it's going in the background. It does a lot of uh, database and other uh, services that it has to set up. So it, the first time around, it does take a while. But as you import <coughs> and create more playbooks, this becomes a lot faster. OK, the playbook finished with success. And here's the playbook itself. Everything looks good. Hello world message shows up. If you'd like to see more videos like this or have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Thank you.